Hello and welcome to Flashback, a weekly look at stories from years gone by. Salmon are iconic in the Northwest, they are fished for food and eggs, and they are abundant in the local art. Back in 1996, some kids from the local school got to take a trip down to the river to harvest some fish eggs. Let's head down to the riverside back to November 4th, 1996. These grade three students from E.T. Kenny Primary School in Terrace were just one group of many who took part in a salmon egg take last week. The project was part of a program called Salmonoids in the Classroom, which was started through the DFO in 1977. And it's just grown and grown throughout the, throughout the years. And um, to this point now in this area, um, every school in town has at least one classroom incubator in their classrooms and it's just been a huge success and it is um, there is um, a criteria a teaching criteria that the, the teachers have um, large binders to go through with the, the students the life cycle of the salmon the program gets the kids out of the schools into the outdoors and gives them a hands-on learning experience on the importance of the salmon resource in our area these are both female coho Okay, this one has already laid all her eggs. See her belly's all nice and empty? Yeah. This fluid left. Oh, one little egg came out. Yeah. See her tail is all white? Yeah. She's that's been digging from, her red. So that's from digging her red. Birds okay. build nests, fish build reds. Once the eggs and milt are collected, they are taken back to the school and incubation. In about six to eight weeks, the students will be able to peek inside the aquarium and see what's developed. In May or June, they'll release the fry back into Lake House River. Nicole Motter, First News, Terrace.